Here's problem 38. In the figure shown, if A is equal to 2 centimeters, B is 5 centimeters, I is 20 amps, what is the magnitude of the magnetic field at point P? So we have a loop of current here, and even though it's, the current's only indicated on one side of this loop, we can imagine that it's continuing on all these sides as shown. And to deal with this kind of problem, we need to break it up. We need to, to break it up into segments and then superimpose the results together. So let's imagine that there's a segment one here that's a straight segment here. And then we have segment two here, segment three down here, and segment four here. We want to find the individual contributions of each of these segments and then add them together. Now if I look at segment number one, I have a current flowing in this direction, but as in relation to point P, P is actually off the end. It's on the same line as that current. So P is off the end of that current, and hence there would be no ma magnetic field contribution at point P due to that segment of current. Same thing for segment number three over here. Point P is off the end of that segment, and so there would be no contribution to magnetic field at point P as well. So in terms of magnetic field 1 and magnetic field 3, there is no magnetic field contribution at point P because we are off the end of those segments. So we need only concern ourselves with segment 2 and segment 4. Both of those segments are curved, so if I look at segment 2 for instance, for a curved segment the magnetic field is mu naught i over 4 pi r times theta, where theta is an angle in radians for that curvature. We have an angle of 30 degrees, but in radians that would be pi divided by 6. So magnetic field 2 is going to be mu naught 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times the current, which is 20 amps, over 4 pi. Now, segment 2, the radius, is going to be A plus B. It's going to be that full distance out to that curvature. So our radius in this case is 7 centimeters, 0 0.07 meters. So that's what we're going to have to put here for our R, is 0 0.07. And our theta, of course, is 30 degrees, but we have that, have that in radians, so that's going to be pi divided by 6 radians. Alright, so let's figure out what this is. Let's get rid of the four pi's. We have two times ten to the minus six over seven times ten to the minus two times pi divided by six. What is that? One point 4, 9 times 10 to the minus 5, 4, 9, 6 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla. Now, according to the right-hand rule, if that current is going in the direction shown, if I curl my fingers in that direction, my thumb will be pointing into the page at point P. So this is going to be into the page. All right, so that's one magnetic field. We want to find the other one. Let's go here, B4. B4 is also a curved segment, so that's going to be mu naught i over 4 pi r times theta. And that would be 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times 20 amps over 4 pi. Now r for 4 is actually this distance, which is equal to b, so b is equal to 5 centimeters, or 0 0.05 meters, so that's our r for this segment, 0 0.05 meters, and we have the same angle, pi over 6. So, what does that give us?
That is 2.09 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla. Now according to the right hand rule, if I curl my fingers in the direction of that current, my thumb is actually going to be pointing out of the page. So this magnetic field is out of the page. So I have one magnetic field that's going into the page, another one that's going out of the page. Our net magnetic field will be one minus the other, the bigger one minus the smaller one. So our magnetic field at point P is going to be equal to B4 minus B2, which is going to be equal to 2.09 minus 1.496 times 10 to the minus 5. So what is that? That is 5.98 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. And since it was B4 that was bigger than B2, that's going to be out of the page. So it's going to be coming out of the page. So our answer on this one is 5.98, or we can round that to 6 microtesla out of the page.